Hi, this is Pallavi Verma and in my previous videos, I have shown you how you can write a code for single inheritance and multi-level inheritance. So, in this video, I will tell you how we can write a code for hierarchical inheritance. So, let's get started. So, before writing the code, I want to tell you a structure for those people who doesn't know what exactly hierarchical inheritance is. So, it's a very quick. Suppose we have few classes. Suppose we have a number of classes. Let's say class A. This is our class B. This is our class C. D. And we have a number of classes. So when these classes wants to inherit the property of this class, so this class will be treated as a parent class. And all these classes would be treated as its child class. So, relationship would be like this. So, this is our hierarchical inheritance. So, this pattern only we are gonna start writing. So, I have my package here. I will write one class, maybe hierarchical. I want to include my main method. So quickly I will write few uh, classes. Suppose as I already have a parent class, so give the name parent one. Now I will start writing few child classes, maybe child 2. Child 3 and maybe one more. Child 4. Now I'm gonna specify one method here. So this method would return the integer value so the return type would be integer. So public int base and I need to return the value suppose 20 plus 89. So this is our parent class. Okay, child 2 is already there, so maybe child 5 by here. So this child class would return a string value. So my method would be like Public string child method and I will log from state. So, okay, I will not log the statement, I'll just return the string, or maybe, okay, I'll log one statement also. So, it would be inside child 5. Now child 3 would not return anything, so I'm keeping its written type as void. Public void search. I will log statement like inside child 3. When it comes to the child 4, so it will return an integer value. So the return type would be integer for the method. And get the maybe 12. Oh. So now I have one more class which is hierarchical. If we want to make it as a child class, that also we can treat it. So, okay, I will treat this class also as a child. So now we need to implement the inheritance, which is a hierarchical inheritance. So, what is required if we go back to the structures all the classes are inheriting the property of class A. So same thing we have to apply in my code. So when we need to inherit the property of our parent class what we need to do we need to use the keyword extends. So we will use the keyword extends. Extends and the parent class which is parent 1. 
So I will copy this thing and it will be applicable for all the child classes and I will make my health class also a child class and inside this class I am going to write one method and simple as a local state. Inside. Okay. Now, if I create the object of child 5, then the object of the child 5 would be able to access child method and base. If I make the object of child 3, it would be able to access the method child method and base method. If I make the object for child 4, it would be able to access CH method and base method. And same for this hierarchical method. So, we will, we have child 5. So, we will make the object of child 5, which is CH. So, we have created the object of child 5. So, this object would be able to access its own property and its parent property. So, let's see. Basic is giving child method. So, if we see child 3, child 3 has CH method, but we have created the object of child 5. So, child 5 object would not be able to access CH method and the CH method or this method last. So if we try also it will give you the error. So suppose it's CH method. So CH method. So if you see it's giving you an error because this method is, is not accessible for this particular object. And now if we make the object of child 4, so child 4 will be object new child 4. Now this object would be able to access the base method because we are extending the parent class and what method child 4 has. So it has ch method. So object dot base vacancy object dot ch method vacancy. And if you want to make the object of hierarchical we can make we can make for child 3 also. So right now I am making for child 5 and child 4. So let's see child 5 method is returning the string value. So either and the parent is returning in T. So one way is like if we create the variable maybe well like this and we will print it. So child find value Sorry, this is parent. Parent value and well. Or just we this out. And what about child 4? It is returning integer. So I will direct this out instead of making any variable. In the space also. So let's run this. See, the parent value is 109 because we have performed some addition here.
when it comes to this child method, so what it is returning? It is returning Pallavi and inside child 5. So we have these two values. When it comes to child 4, so child 4, base class again will return the integer value. And this ch method will return 12. So like that you can make an object for hierarchical class and for child treatments. I hope you like this video. We will connect in our next video. Thank you so much.